Hello, 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 everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Oh, I see chat is already up and running. How's everybody doing today? Welcome, welcome to the Nomersburg region first live stream of Nomersburg, and I am excited. Let's see, who do we have in chat? Me, Mif, Miflo, ooh. Wow, I, I can't pronounce your name, I'm sorry. Mama Old Roman, I'm guessing that's not English. Then we've got Ka -ka -pa Kappa Gaming Nikolov. Hello, hello Talanen, Talanen the man himself. How are you? Esko Lokanen. I hope I didn't butcher that too badly. Bolonic, 10 p.m. for you. It's 10 p.m. for me as well. Good evening, Marcus Carmen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing today? We've got Murat Kilikaslan saying airport, airport, airport. Okay, okay, okay. It will come at some point. <laughs> Mm, how's everybody doing today? Well, the penguin. How are you? How are you? Vladimir Ghana. Welcome, welcome. How you doing, man? Black Fox. Hello, hello. Claudio Lorenzo. I'm guessing you're from Brazil. Hello, welcome to the stream. How's everybody doing? Hi, Black Fox. Hello, Christian XD. Oh, that's Christian with the uh, smiley face. Hello from Germany. Hello from South Africa. Kostas, Kostas, M-R-K, Kostamburg. I don't know how to pronounce that. How are you? How are you? Welcome everybody to the stream. I trust everybody is doing well today. Yes, Murat, I saw your previous post for airports. They will come. Airports require quite a lot of planning. So please bear with me whilst I plan the airport out. Everybody joining in. I feel great. Did you see my response to your comment on... Hmm, I'm not sure if I saw your response. You know the thing about... about youtube studio that i don't like is that you have no way of organizing your comments based on the one that has the most recent activity which is a real bummer so if i miss the notification then i do not see what your response would have been i would have to dig through and see if i would if i can if i see it but i've not seen your response but i did see your message thank you very much i really appreciate well, i don't even remember what your message was let me not lie but i definitely did see your message <laughs> that's for sure okay there you go sanctum i mean public housing oh like stockholm yes i am definitely planning on building something like that for sure we will definitely be having something like that without a doubt Mr. Talonin, ever so generous, good sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. More circular neighborhoods. Guess what? That's what we're going to be doing in today's stream. So I was not able to finish and build all the circular I got no communities that I wanted. So today we're going to expand on that a bit. I mentioned that in the video. Uh, so our focus will be expanding on on that so yeah you can look forward to seeing that i find it really weird i found you after the rugby world cup win <laughs> maybe youtube all of a sudden started pushing south african content providers uh, my city looks very nice thank you very much christian really appreciate that polonic you are from austria welcome welcome and so the 
diverse audience begins. I actually live fairly close. To oh, really? Will the penguin? That is fantastic. You are the second person that has some kind of tie to the place. Somebody left a comment saying that they've got a friend that actually owns a holiday home. They at I'm guessing it's pronounced Bra Brondby Haveby Haveby. I'm so I was so afraid of butchering. That's why I didn't even talk about it in the video, and I actually just left the the name there. Hello, Matthew Baldwin. How are you doing, Marino Moons? All the way from Iceland. Welcome. Super cool. I once jumped on Google Earth to have a look at Iceland, thinking I was going to see a lot of ice in my ignorance, but I saw so much green. It was fantastic. I would love to visit Iceland one day. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining the stream. Really appreciate it. And we've got a day in here. Lived in Copenhagen a few years ago. Oh, cool. All right, everybody. So we are in Normersburg today. And this is, of course, what Normersburg looks like at the moment right so that you get the full view let me just turn on you lord and that's basically what normersburg looks like at the moment so that's where all those circular homes are relative to the rest of the city so as to not kill my fps and the stream i'm going to turn off you lord and we are going to dive down to this area and this is where we're going to be building today so the plan for me or oh, what I had aimed to do with this area is I wanted to have one more here. The road will sort of bend around and come in and complete the circle or another community here. And then I want to have two smaller ones in these pockets. <clears throat> and then we're going to have one more that will come around and complete in this area. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to get everything done today. But let's see what we can do and how far we can get with the ones that are on this side of the map. My guess is, based on how long it takes to build each of these, we should be able to get hopefully two of them done in the stream. So that's that's the goal. Okay. Iceland is green and Greenland is icy. <laughs> that is so true. Hmm. <laughs> Esco is suing Greenland for false advertising. Are you going to sue Iceland as well for the same reason? <laughs> Hello, Muriakus. Muriakus? Mariakus from Barcelona. Hello, hello, hello. My apologies if I have butchered your name. It is not on purpose. Okay. Let's get right into it. So I want to start off. See if I can get that bend that bend in where's the road i'm using uh, actually i can just select it make my life a lot easier so i want this one to come around kind of like so and then it can, it's 17 okay so it's 17 this way now let's go 20. so let's go 20 by 20 no i don't like that so let's we'll stick with 15 we'll stick to 15 by 15 i think should be should do the job nicely so yeah and then we'll just bend it around let's just go one more actually one more 15 by 15 no that's too big that's way too big. So I'm going to leave. Let, let's actually leave it. Let's just focus on getting. Let's do a small circle. Let's start with this one here. Because this is the one that I had. My transition shot. If you've watched the video. Was going to go from here. To here next. And then to here next. Then I was going to come here to build this one. And then I was going to transition here to finish off. So those are my camera parts. To finish off the entire video. But. Yeah, there was not enough time. Video was already long anyway. Hello, Mr. A. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. How you doing? How you doing? 
do, do. I should actually have that opened, yeah. There we go. I have a friend who lives in Nook in Greenland. Funnily enough. <laughs> Hello, Avadon. Avadon. What's up? Too fast for you. Welcome, welcome. Roundabout mod could help with these, maybe. Eh, could it? I'm not really building roundabouts, actually. These, these, by the way, are actually not roundabouts. I use the node controller to do those. Okay, so let's, I want this. So this can come actually just a little there, connect up there. And then let's do that. Yeah. So I use a node controller to always get the tips nice and round. And that's how I get my roundabout to finish off. And then I just stretch this area out a bit. This node controller really helps get that. Uh, what's this thing? It makes the... It makes it look a bit more a bit more closer to what to what the real life one looks. Too fast for you, shout out from Holland, shout out from South Africa. So I had already planned this area out. So the plan was I was going to have these around like a small little enclosure of their own and and so there isn't really too much thinking that's going to be involved here i'm just gonna do hopefully what i had planned hopefully it works out Get it as close in there as I can. Okay. Hey, simple guy. Welcome, welcome. It's been a while since I've caught which since you've caught the streams, yeah? Oh, actually, you missed the last one, but you ate the one before, if I remember right. How are you doing? Hope all is well. So I want this one to look like, uh, to look very different from all the others. So you can imagine this is a properly, uh, what, I don't want to say properly planned, because this whole area is properly planned. But this is a set development that had the same houses built around here. I, in my mind, this settlement would have come after the others. So, you know, in the modern way of wanting to do things, people are trying to keep it in the similar vein. Yeah. Hey, well, the penguin, thank you. Thank you so much for that donation. I would only be fitting oh it would only be fitting if i lived here too yes i think so too we i think before the stream is over we will pick a whole play a whole bunch of places and assign some houses in fact will the penguin you are the developer of this entire area if you so choose to accept i am happy to name this entire area after you we'll put a little a little what's this thing that thing district around this and we will call it will the penguin development or something like that if you want it of course Ooh. i wonder if i could actually do this could i get them 
no that's too much so let's just get these close together so with these here what i will do is i don't know did i say thank you i hope i said thank you will the penguin thank you so much for that that donation i really really appreciate it So I'm going to just do that. Make use of the hedges that are already around this one. Oh, that's too long. Ah! These are really wannabes. Oh, they don't really line up nicely. They don't really line up nicely. I'm not happy. Not happy at all, at all, at all, at all, at all. Let's get rid of that. I don't think these will work. The fact that they've got the hedges already. They're not going to work nicely unless I remove, if I remove these two on the outskirts, could I readjust these ones to line them up better? Maybe. And then we'll need to turn you as well a bit. Turn you as well a bit. Turn you, make your face straight. It needs to come closer. I don't know. I think this my plan might not work out the way I had envisioned. Doesn't look like this is going to work out the way I envisioned. Uh, have to go now. I am sorry. I will watch the rest in the morning. Vladimir, no problem. Thank you so much for dropping by. I really, really appreciate it. Let's see what this looks like. I just want to see if these are actually line up into what it would look like a roundabout ish. Uh, Mr. A, just a suggestion. How about a residential area surrounded all around the lake with docks just like Florida region? Uh, it's, it's not a bad idea, but I have, I, yeah, it's, it's similar to the idea that I have for what I want to do on this lake. So it's, it's, it's not a bad idea. I just want to see. Now, this is actually not turning out the way. I had imagined. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm not happy. I don't like it. I don't like it. So we're going to change plans. We're going to change plans. We'll come back to this. We will come back to this. Instead, let me focus then on actually building these. Because that's not turning out as I envisioned. And I think it might be because it's also too close to the river. And those houses that I wanted to use don't really fit in the way. The way I had. The way I thought it would in my mind. So let's do this one instead. So this will just be. Where's the road? There's, there you are. And let's get that. How big do I want this one to be? I don't... Yeah, it can be big. Let's put you at a bit of an angle. Right, so this would be like here. This makes room for a smaller one to actually fit here. If I really want it. Apple juice, Adam, that is a good idea. I like it. 
Will the Penguin, I know I had said I was going to name that after you, but, you know, we, I can't afford to give you substandard stuff. So we will name something else after you. Okay. My, my, my promise still stands. So if we have this one. Ooh, okay. Let's do... Let's do what you suggested. Apple juice, Adam. You said it should have a forest park. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe it won't be 100%, but it will be something. So what I want, what I want is... So from here, let's put, can we put, yeah, we can do that, right, but how, it will be small, this will be fairly, fairly small, it will be very small, I want it bigger, I want it bigger. So let's shift you out a tad bit more. Is it seven? Eight. Eight. Does that work? It's a bit too close to the road. So let's do seven rather. Yeah, I think that's fine. going to get rid of oh i can't get rid of oh okay we can instead put a a road here there we go and then i want to put paths extending from each of them each of these areas so i really want a each each of these communities to be different from the other I don't want any two to be exactly the same. And I want to try for one of them to make it look like to make it look like the actual the actual areas in in Copenhagen. So try and keep it far away and have like small little parts going up to them. And I have some ideas around how I think we could we could do that. Okay, let's do Oh, by the way, if you see, I've actually kind of sorted out that glitch problem. Well, I haven't really sorted it out. I've more like identified the culprit. And I believe the culprit is a vanilla tree. So somebody left a comment on my previous video pointing me to something that Zardas experienced. A similar issue. And... Zardas noted that it was as a result of a very specific tree. So he had the help of somebody and they basically narrowed it down to a very specific tree. So I went about trying to find this tree and delete it, but that didn't really help my cause much. So I got, I got this mod to remove all vanilla trees from, from the map. I think it was by who created that mod? Is it yeah, vanilla trees remover by T T P T P T P B, I believe is their name. And since getting rid of all vanilla trees, I haven't experienced that glitch even once. Now just as well that Nomersberg does not really have a ton of vanilla trees. So I really don't lose much by removing by removing all vanilla trees from from the map. So with the vanilla trees gone, the glitching effect has also gone with it. So I am not complaining. I am super happy. Even though some would say this is not I haven't figured out the problem, 
but I would argue I have figured out the cause of the problem. I have gotten rid of the cause and that's all that matters. So yes. So all that building that you see in the videos that takes what maybe 10 seconds in editing this is the painful process of getting down each and every single one of these and i definitely don't zone these because they're not going to to fill up nicely but let's get this in so as uh, apple juice adam so we're gonna put forestry in here so this will be a nice green one i hope that's what you meant by your by your suggestion of the forest park and then we'll put some some people park generators just so that we can get some human traffic going Let's just stick down one or two big ones. This is how I get variety in. So it looks, no two ever look the same. That's I suppose the benefit of also doing some of it by hand. Ooh, something's going to complain about water. Okay, so you're going to continue and let's just get that there. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I, you know, originally, I actually had quite a lot of forests between the circles. But it just, it didn't quite look right. So I deleted a lot of the trees that I had put. In fact, if you pay attention to the last video, you'll notice that I put down quite a lot of trees. But if you check it out in the cinematics, a lot of those trees are gone. And that's purely because it just seemed very out of place. Or maybe I just used the wrong, the wrong type of tree. So the colors just didn't complement at all. But yeah, my initial intention was to get quite a lot of trees in between. But I think even I have to accept when the trees don't really seem to fit in. Hmm. So for this one, let's see if I do, if I do this, let's get, oh, they are too big. This is too big. I'm going to, I just want two. So we'll get the one here. And the other one next to it. And then we'll take that. Put the one here. And put the other one on this side. And then the other one on that side. There we go. So this one is different from all the others it offers the exact same things what if i what if i do hmm ah, it's fine matthew baldwin from australia welcome welcome it's now you it's simple guy and it is Talonin that are the early birdies. Uh, Peace Haywa 
wants to know how much hours do I spend on this game daily? If I average it out, maybe that's not that much, maybe two hours on average. The thing is, I, I wouldn't say I play every single day. I have playing times where I sit with the intention of recording and that is usually on on Sunday nights, Monday nights, Tuesday nights and if I'm not able to finish everything then Wednesday nights as well. But Wednesday nights usually are my cut off recording days so that I have Thursday nights for editing. So on average, a video takes me in excess of 10 hours to produce without a doubt. About eight, six to eight hours on average of recording time. And then another four, five to six hours of editing time. Editing is quite time consuming. As you can see, everything that I'm doing here, this would I've this would be compressed into you know something that's edited into something like a minute if not even less so yeah i hope that answers your question peace heywa rock out black out i am glad you think it is cool thank you thank you thank you all right so we've got that in now for this, what I want to do is I want to put, I want to put this down. So we're going to make this look a bit cool. Or at least as cool as can be. Oh, it's clipping. Uh, okay, let's do this. Let's get rid of that. Let's draw it out here. So we're going that way, 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 and join up. All right. Now let's move all of this into place. I think you, I started here. I moved there. Uh, where are you? You are there. That's there. I don't know what we'll do without move it. Over there. And over there. Yay, I got it right. Uh, a never ending neighborhood. A never end neighborhood? I can afford to do stuff like this because my I am very, very far from the network limit in this in this save so that is great for me we're then going to copy that oops i did not copyright i missed those two nope i missed something again oh this is the wrong node there we go that's better uh, wait i can plop you there Because it's it's mirror. Uh, what if uh, never, what if the circle had a small stream running through it or a pond in the middle? That would that could be cool. It's a bit too small in my opinion. A pond would be good. Circle should have a get together place or a cookout. So I like the pond idea. 
definitely like the pond idea it will be very easy to put a pond in a stream will be obviously a lot, ha a lot harder because there isn't really a stream running in this area but i think the next one we will put a pond in the middle i think that's a brilliant idea Come on, come on. There, there, there it was. I thought I got it. Ooh, there it is. Okay. Right, so we've got that in... I think that's that's nice. That's neat. Oh, that looks very neat. I like it. Right, let's grab let's grab all of this, all of that, 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 and that. Did I get everything? Yes, I got everything. Let's get that here. Hello, Chris. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing, Chris? I trust you are having a good weekend. Pond to go fishing on the weekends. Would there be fish in it? Oh, wow. If only we could easily put fish into these things. Wouldn't that be cool? You know, actually, it, it, technically speaking, there will be fish in it because the game puts fish since the release of Sunset Harbor. There is always fish in water. So, yes, there will be fish in it. Ha! Can you, I don't know if you guys can hear, can you hear the sound of, of the train, like a train in the background? I'm not sure if you can hear it, but if you can, it's because of this silly asset. These parking lots, for some odd reason, play a train, a train sound. It's so weird. It took me the longest time to figure out what in the world was causing that noise. Wrong note again. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. And then we're going to finish it off here. Oop. Okay, good. I'm glad somebody else can hear it. I'm not. I lo I was losing my mind in the last when I was recording the last video. Like, why am I hearing trains? It just wasn't making sense. These two are touching. There we go. Not anymore. Well moved. How is this part? Should I bring it just a bit closer? And move this one a bit wider. And let's make that one a bit flatter. Chris, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that donation ever so generous thank you thank you thank you good person thank you chris okay let's see let's get that right up there let's lower you a little bit and let's get you here and let's just lower you also a little bit. All right. 
cool we've got we've got this down very nicely i think that has that has turned out actually way nicer than i expected huh all right let's get the let's get a couple of hedges around you shall we Simple guy, thank you so much for dropping by. We really, really appreciate it. Hope to catch you in the next one. Peace, hey, I hope I'm pronouncing the second name properly. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. You are ever so generous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we getting... Is that lined up nicely? I think that's lined up nicely. Shift it a little bit. Boom. So now we've got the next one down. So what I wanted, when we're done with it, I want to close this area off. So we'll have like a line of trees that will close this area off. And then we'll start other developments in that side. So I just want this to be around this area. Okay. And then, ooh, uh, regular bush. This is the tree that I want to put down. I think that was the center. Let us close it all in. All right. So before I used to use just the hedges on the sides, but they really just vanish and look so weird and ugly when you zoom out. So I started putting this, this hedge around it, which I think makes everything look so much better from afar. Okay. Oops. Now, of course, I've been building this for so long now that I know the exact hedges that <laughs> I need to get in order to actually build these things. Ah, uh, I don't know why this thing has suddenly started re-enabling itself. It's quite annoying. Cool. Sanctum, my man, good to see you back on this map. Love your work. And I'm sure there is a goldfish spawner asset. <laughs> Bald head nuts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what? Given the crazy things that we found on the workshop, I will not be surprised if there is. I will not be surprised at all. So let's see. What can I get? I want to get... I want to get... I want something that looks rich. But at the same time... Okay, you work. Oh no, you're a tree. It doesn't have a rich base. So I want to start... I, wanna, I love this, this tree. I think this, this tree is so nice. But I don't want to overuse it. So we're going to we're gonna detail detail around these areas now. And since this is the live stream, I can actually zoom in closer, which oh makes my life so much easier. I'm pretty sure there's like an orange one of this. Now what I like, I really love doing is making each house, you know, unique in some, in some shape or form. Get something for that house that is, is different from all the others. And I think that just adds an element of realism, you know. Um, hey Sanctum, love your cities. Thank you, Art of Gordo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Greetings from Mexico. Love your maps and your vids. Daniel Obregon. I hope I pronounced that well. Thank you so much. Would you care explaining why the circular housing? Oh, as in why am I building them? Well, that's actually very simple to explain, really. I am taking inspiration from the real world. So the story behind it actually is that I was just sitting at home minding my own business when I got a message from my sister, my little sister, and it was a picture of Bronby Half be i don't know if i'm pronouncing that that right so she sent me those pictures and i decided to google it and when i saw what it looked like i was like wow this actually looks pretty cool and would be a nice unique build for one of my cities and of course normersburg immediately came to mind and yeah that's the story behind it. I, I immediately decided I wanted to build it in Normansburg. And it's a nice break from the usual, from the usual, just, you know, plop down the houses and move on. It's nice to have a unique item every so often, you know. Let's get you there. This is the tree, by the way, that I've used all around the edges. Um, let's just stick this here for these guys. Hello from Tampa, Florida, I'm guessing. I have followed you for a very long time, and this is the first time I say hello. You are amazing. Cesar Diaz, thank you so much for those super, super kind words. Really, really appreciate it. And thank you for following me for as long as you have. Mm. Ronby Harbor Town. That's the translation. Is that what it means? Oh. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Morton Christensen. Thank you for educating me. And now I know. Is the harbor town referring to Copenhagen as a whole in terms of the naming? If you don't mind me asking. Martin Christensen. Finding variety here is it's tough. That we've got. We almost we almost there. We are almost there. You know what? When that happens, nothing wrong with doing doing a little repetition. Because a little repetition also adds to oh no wait wrong thing let's use that let's put that down and then we're gonna get into the tiles i think it's tile i think that's what i searched for yeah there you are and then let's just expand your walkway shall we and let's do that boom uh -huh. I think that needs to get a tad bit closer. Uh, love your circle villages or wherever they are. <laughs> Thanks, Ash Phillips. These are Diaz. Wow. Thank you so much for that massive donation. Keep doing your videos. If you ever stop, I won't have anything to watch anymore. Caesar Diaz, thank you. Thank you so much. That is super, super generous of you. I really appreciate it. And I am super glad that you enjoy my videos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's actually have be, which means garden town. Yeah, Brondby, Brondby have be, I believe is what it's called.
What does Bronby mean? Hello from Vietnamese fan. I really love your Nomersburg house <clears throat> and the way you detail the streets. <clears throat> Yo, excuse me. <clears throat> Talking a bit too much there. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Vietnamese fan. I unfortunately cannot pronounce your name, so... Thank you, thank you, Tien something, something. I'm so sorry. Sean Harbour. Hello from the UK, Great Britain. Welcome. Thank you so much. Hello back to you from South Africa. <clears throat> Hello, Sanctum. Been a while back in Africa. Oh, you went back to Africa to visit grandparents. It was fun and a fresh of breath air in the African savanna. Mandan Mori. Sweet. Whereabouts were you? Where did you go? Where are the grandparents? If you don't mind my asking, of course. Uh, let's put a banana tree there. What assets do you think are needed in the workshop? Wah! Peace! That is a loaded question. There are so many. And it, it really depends on on you to be honest and what you want to build so it, it's it's really hard to answer that question hey but depending upon what you want to build i mean cheapest the, the, your options are so much so 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 much i'm sorry i can't give you a straight answer because there are just too many. I mean, the assets I have here in Normansburg are different from the assets that I have in City of Tando, are different from the ones that I have in River Valley and so on. So, yeah, I'll really just encourage you to explore and see what, like, jumps out to you, you know? I just found them on Google Maps. Yes, oh, Apple Juice Adams. Definitely Google. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Look at those. Look at the gardens. Look at all of... Th like, imagine living in a place like this. You walk out of your house and there's just this beautiful flowers everywhere. This open... I actually like this open space, hey? What you, do what you think, hey? Chat? Should we leave it opened? Because I originally wanted to make it... I really wanted to make it the foresty, but I feel like this open space is actually, it's actually quite nice. What do you think? Maybe we put some benches here and then we can put a couple of PPGs and, you know, the place becomes a bit more, a bit lively. But I'm, I'm liking the way the open space is looking. Bronby is the name of the district in oh, okay Guinea. Awesome stuff. Guinea is way up north relative to me. Uh, I think you should have benches. The open space looks great. Or a fountain. Add a few small trees. Should put kids playground. Open is nice with benches, maybe small bushes and hedges. Perhaps add like some football goals. What? football goals in this area can you imagine if there's a football being played here and your car is here and somebody kicks a ball into your to your car that's not cool <laughs> matthew baldwin when do i stream i stream now <laughs> uh i try and stream every saturday well for me it's every saturday at 10 p.m so whatever the time is now where you are that's when i stream so i try and stream consistently at this time on this day every week i try let's get some okay so i this actually needs to be turned around if i don't want it to oh great 
It fits. Yay. I thought I was going to complain about road access. Let's put another one down. Uh, let's put... Let's put another one here. And then the last one here. Uh, uh. Oh, speaking of street lights in the alley, Mandan, Mandan, we actually need to put down a lot of street lights. Actually, we, we need to do that. The place is very dark at night. And then we'll put big benches on the other sides. So this is how I like to varietize. I try, there are times that I do, I do go for symmetry. And then there are times when I just go for a mix. I would actually like, shouldn't these, uh, Hello, I'm considering a Central Northern type game play and I have to tell you it's, it's a must. The last uploading of the windmill palm set. Oh, I saw your comment actually about, I think it's you, yeah? About the palm set. Do a commercial circle. What's a commercial circle? Can you elaborate? I really, I really don't want, I really don't want to kill this open space. So, so you know what we're going to do? Let's see, in terms of trees, I really, really want to maintain the open space as much as possible. I want to see, okay, that's fine. And then just something to give to give these areas some shade um, since you're so tiny and you are big and you are biggish and you are tiny and you are tiny uh, and you are big come on tiny for the last one tiny no that's not gonna happen and there we go, we got a tiny. Hmm. When, when are you doing another video on City State 2? Caesar Tuesday. So I'm, I'm, the plan is to release City State 2 on Tuesdays. So Tuesday, there will be another one. I'll probably be playing that tomorrow. City State. Or maybe even... I will see. So I want to make this place look a little bit lively. And then, you know what? Who was it that asked for goalposts? Was it you, Will? I can't remember who asked for it. Yeah, Will, it was you. Let's put some goalposts right there. So people, at least there's, the cars are far away. There we go. And then... Boo -boo -boo. Let's stick down one of these. And let's drop it down a bit. Okay, drop, drop, drop. There we go. That's not too shabby. That actually looks very nice. So you can see that that area is quite worn down from people playing around there. Alrighty. And then let's just get some... Let's get some cracks in. I actually want to get some cracks in. There's not a lot of cracks often in in my stuff so let's get a couple of cracks here and there Ooh. Uh, it's sunday at seven is that the time that it is that for you matthew are you in australia 
I've been absent for a long time. Before I left, you was trying to get the graphics card. Finally, did you get it? If so, which one? Mandan, yes. So I got the RTX 3080 Ti. That's what I got. And I have... And now I am getting... I've got I've got the the 4K the 4K monitor and I've started experimenting with 4K production with what's this thing with um, City State 2 but with this one with City Skylines it is a bit tougher because the editing of City Skylines is so much heavier and my current editor that I use, I don't know if it's the editor because my editor is a free editor. So I'm assuming it's the editor. It's you it, to say it struggles with with 4K editing is is an understatement. So I am considering I am considering getting Premiere Pro, but I don't know if it will if it will make things any easier so i'm just holding off a little bit on that because i haven't really made a final decision on on, on an editor yet but yeah once that is done city skylines will also start getting okay but the graphics card by the way is great sorry i went on a complete rant there Ba, 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 ba. Thanks, Art of Gordo. Says it looks great so far. Okay. I like that. I think... I don't think I'm going to do anything else to the center of this. We'll leave it nice and open. And now... The only thing left is to plop down some props around the houses. Uh, what about a small pavilion or is that too much? Eh, we can do it elsewhere. Yeah, is that fine? Mm, they're like swings at the back. Oh, this is such a big pool for these guys. Come on. Let's give this chappy a small pool here. Mm. Thank them, gamer. Glad to hear you have a proper GPU now. Water is not wet. Thank you so much. I still love your name. You should consider Intel Alder Lake. Leaks show that the CPUs are amazing for creation. Oh, okay. I, to be honest, I highly doubt I'm going to be upgrading my CPU anytime soon. My CPU was upgraded, what, two years ago now? I got an Intel i9-9900K and that is still more than good enough for at least the next couple of years. So I'm very likely not going to be throwing money away in that. But let's see. I try and upgrade my system once every three to five years. That's kind of my my times my time frame. Anything in between that I feel like it's just a waste of money. By the way, this is also one of my favorite assets, this trellis. It's so amazing. It's so versatile. Coupled with these pergolas, also very versatile. They add so much detail to like things. Let's put down a couple of these. I don't even know if this is facing the right direction. It's not. Of course it's not. Uh, let me just take a bit. I think in my city skylines for the simple assets and props I have... 
I haven't any network tools. Is there any mod for that? I think in my city skylines for the simple assets and props, I haven't any network tools. I don't quite understand you, Constantine. I would love to help you out, but I don't quite understand your question. Do you mind rephrasing, maybe? Apple juice, Adam. Thank you so much for dropping by. Yes. I remember somebody also left a comment about a local shop somewhere in between. So maybe since the next one is going to be here, this gives us enough space to maybe do something like that here. Mm. I'll check that once more, but I think, okay. Hooray. Network. Okay, cool. So you've got some help there. Marino Moons, thank you, thank you, thank you for that donation. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is ISK? What currency is that? You won't believe how many people argue with me on YouTube over my name. Oh, don't mind them. They, don't, they do not know science. And they do not know that you have the best name ever. Uh, what was I doing? I was doing detailing. Okay, uh, let's do some. Let's get let's get some of these in. When you are choosing an asset, down left there appearing four network tools. Four network tools down left. I don't know what you are referring to when I'm choosing an asset. Oh, you mean this? If this is what you're referring to, this is the prop line tool. That's what this mod is called. So it allows you to create lines, create bendy lines, create circles. Prop line tool. That's it. I hope that's what you were looking for. Okay, let's make some of these areas look a little funky ah, funky there i'm gonna put i'm gonna put some let's just put some of that there all right cool i think i think that's fine let's stick down some trees so we're gonna do some high level details now it's just really trees to complete up the area and make it look a little greener than it currently does uh, where, am, where are we when you are choosing an okay uh, peace okay thank thanks peace but I'm I'm still very curious. What is ISK? What is the what's the currency? It, it's really just curiosity. Mm -hmm. So we're getting a couple of bushes in. Uh, let me just get that. ISK is Icelandic krona. Ah, oh, okay sweet thank you thank you thank you now i know i am slightly wiser than i was 30 seconds ago thank you so much marino your generosity is very very much appreciated actually should we put some trees in these corners in these two corners that's not a bad idea. Maybe flowery things. Or maybe popular columnars. Let's put these two here, actually. Then it looks like it's some kind of a entrance. Okay, let's give these guys something. By the way, my issue... A uh, tree with this one. Was it this one? Yeah. I think this was the one. 
No, this this tree, this tree right here, I think was the cause of my glitches. Zardas had the same issue and he narrowed it down to this tree. So I think this is the culprit. Haven't removed all vanilla trees from, from my map. The issue is gone. So yeah, if if you ever experience that same problem, you know exactly what the cause is, hopefully. Hopefully that is the cause. And if you remove all vanilla trees, you should be good. But I guess if you use a lot of vanilla trees, then that's not really an option, is it? Okay, let's put in the the giants. Let's put in the giants to kind of complete the area. Oops, let's go one up. I haven't really put any oak trees down in these areas, eh? Ooh, I like you. And ooh, let's pop some color in here. And let's do... Uh, where are you? There you are. There you are. Let's give some color here as well. And then, okay, bye Shady Tree. Thank you. And I think that's that. I think, I think we'll leave this roundabout as it is. And you know what? Just for adding forestry, let's do... I've actually got, I've actually got a Nomad's Book Forest as thing done. We can stick this down. And then let me go back. Mm. So let's give this one. Some bush on the outside. So I want this one to just be quite forested around here. Ooh. There we go. All right, I think we're done with this. Ooh, can I have some a bite of something to eat? Are we happy? I am happy. I think that's a nice compliment to that one. Hello, Mr. Miyagi Games. Welcome to the stream. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. And then let me get, let me get, I want to get this one. I want to get this right. You know what? Let's do this actually. Let's, let's do. Let's do, I want to get an idea of, cause I don't think I want this last one to be too big. I think if it's that size, it should work. Eh, let it be big. So if it's like this, that's fine. Now I can, let's take you. Should put a small castle middle of the pond. Oh, speaking of pond, we actually... Oh, that, you're referring to this. Oh, you're messing up with my plants, Chris. Ah. You're probably tired of hearing this, but your eye for detail is amazing to watch. Thank you very much. Water is not wet. That is very, very kind. Ooh. Ooh, Chris. Now you have me thinking. Ooh, I have I had different plans for this pond. But the castle. 
I had different ideas for a castle actually. I thought I still have an idea for what's going to happen with a castle. But that needs to be a surprise. But ooh, that's not a bad idea. Oh, Chris, I don't like you very much right now. You have just confused my mind. And I want a small one here. Mm, this this let's grab you maybe around here yeah i think that's fine i think these should be fine okay so there'll be one more there mm. Hey, Nathan Williams from Cape Town, fellow South African resident. How are you? How are you? How are you? Trust you are well. I just want to flatten this area out a little bit. Well, not flatten out per se, but just bring it up a bit. Just so that this area does not look too wonky when, when we build on it. Get that. I don't want it to be too harsh of a Okay, let's do that. Cool, that's fine. Note, I'm not doing any detailing around the pond. That that will probably come a bit later. Uh, good to catch some of your stream. Hey, Justy Burger, super awesome that you are here. Thank you so much. Is this your first time, Nathan, catching a, a live stream? I feel like I've seen your name in chat before. I get so motivated watching you. Yolanda. That sounds a very South African name. Thank you so much, Yolanda. So glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. Very kind. Very kind words. Uh, Mr. Miyagi says, uh, I really like your neighborhood concept at Sanctum Gamer. It's done neatly. I have no such patience. <laughs> you have patience for other things, which we also appreciate. But thank you so much for the kind words. Really, really appreciate it. Can we do... Actually, I want the entrance to be around here. I actually want it to go all the way around and then poop inside. So I actually want it to go, I actually want it to go this way. You know what? We've got move it. I'll use move it to correct this. I'm not recording now, so it doesn't need to be perfect. I have the benefit of being able to do that. Actually, the worst way I could have done it. It's the worst way I could have done it. I should have just drawn single lines and then adjusted those lines. It would have been so much better. Let's move this out. Move you in. You need to come out a little bit. You also need to come out just a little bit. And a little bit. And a little bit. And you a little bit. So me actually adjusting this was a bad idea initially. Okay, are we good? I think we are good. I think you are not entirely. Okay, no, you are fine. A little bit more here. No, it's actually going a bit too wide. Oh gosh, yeah, I am getting finicky again. Ah, oh, that's fine. I'll leave it at that. Otherwise, we'll sit here the whole night. And then this can go. 
Where's the center? Is that the center? Hmm. I think that might be the center. Cool. Nope, I knew that was going to happen. Let's grab you and make you bigger. Uh, what am I doing? 200. Uh, bye. Hope you have a good weekend. Matthew Baldwin, thank you so much. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you for dropping by. Have a good one. Awesome stuff. Oh, no, wait. Oh, yes. All right. Let's do this, people. Let's do this. Let's see. So we need... Is it seven? Oh, it's too close. Actually, no, it's fine. You know what? Each one is different. Each one is different. So it's fine. Okay, I see what the issue here now is. So this is... Oh, it's not lined up, but we can fix that. Let's grab you, 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 a single one. Great. You, 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 and you. Let's turn that on. Let's shift you. Okay, how are you? Is this a bit better? Let's rotate that. Ah, oh, move it is just the best i don't know how i ever play this game without movers i think there we go we've managed to align it nicely now let's see what we can do about this so you are that height let's grab that I want to see if the space will be enough to have to have the pond or if we actually need to make this bigger. Because I'm I, I don't want this to be necessarily too big. I think it's too tiny. Can we get you slightly deeper? Yes, we can get it slightly deeper. Let's see what's gonna happen. You know, many playing with water is oh, it's no fun. Point one. Pause, stick it down. Can we get it? Let's see what happens. Oops. Remember, we're building a tiny pond. It's a small pond. Nothing too big, nothing too extravagant. Just get something in. Uh, hi, how are you doing? Hello, Ikapi. Ikapi. If you're asking me, I am doing very well. Will the penguin, thank you so much. I had forgotten to save. Let me just, actually, I can do a quick save. Boom. Actually, quick save. Here we go. Done. How to instantly boost your property values. Really nice and Florida like. Are you referring to the pond? Mm, thank you. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's finish off here. We need to we need to take this and make make that and get rid of that. Okay, and then bring you in. Sweet. Let us put. I wonder, is this too, is this too harsh? Is this too harsh? I think it's too harsh, eh? Don't tell me you can't build on water. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, oh no, I've placed in the worst possible spot. Worst possible spot I could have placed that. Is that too harsh having these? Yeah, it's too harsh. It doesn't look very neighborhood friendly. Mm. Ah, the pond. Thank you. Tourist trap can be pulled up. I am not quite understanding, Chris. So let's make it, let's make it, let's make it like that. Oh, come on, really? Really? This is meant to be a, 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 a spot to just turn around your car anyway, so. Even this, I think it's too... Hmm. I'm not quite happy. Uh, maybe just put a small fence instead of the harsh thing, okay. Maybe add a pier near the pond. I never know what to build. Oh, where do you get your inspiration from? Because I never know how or where to... Oh, bollards. Uh, okay, so... Where do I get my inspiration from? I, I get it from an overactive imagination for one. And two, Google Earth. Like Google Earth is your best friend and real life. When I'm out and about, I am always looking at things, especially in my neighborhood. I'm always looking at how things are in my neighborhood. And when I visit other neighborhoods, I especially pay attention because I know I'm going to see something different. And I take inspiration from all of those things. That's really it. How's that? Hmm. You know what? Let's let I, I wanna power through with this. I actually wanna power through with this for a bit and see. Oh, really? I wanna power through with this for a bit and see something. So let's get that there. Let's get you there. Let's get you there somewhere and let's get you there actually let's get you there now actually you can do that i need to bring you there and then i can connect this up to that one bring tourists around the lake and pond like hotel resorts and spa oh okay i get what you're saying but we don't want to do that here. This is like, this is like people's people's houses, right? Unless unless you're referring to that pond, then that's a different story. Then sure. Let's do this. So bear with me. Bear with me. I wanna see. I wanna push this out. One of the. One of the best lessons I ever learned in this game, I think it was advice given by a strict toaster, if I remember right. And that was sometimes when you start building something, it might look bad, but just push through and see where that where that takes you. At least build up 70% of it and you will be surprised as to what you end up with so we're going to push through for a bit and let's see how man let's see what this is going to look like so this is what i wanted to what i want to do i want to put i want to put these 
along the edges. Now the idea for the pier is not gone out the window yet. I just want to see something. I want to see how this will look if I have if I have all of these. So I want this to be to look like it's a nice green garden that is both being maintained and it's been it's been allowed to overgrow as well so it's a natural i don't know how to put it a naturally a naturally maintained i don't i don't know english has run away from me now people and then you get you get a couple of flowers and stuff growing in and around it you have some nice lilies are these lilies no tulips just growing in and around it just the burger a wild garden i like that And we want, I want to put like a variety, right? So it's just small pops of color everywhere. I'm taking a lot of inspiration from Mr. Mason at this point. If you ever see him doing these things, oh, it's fantastic. That man is a nature detailing guru. But I do want bigger ones, so I want, I want, I want flowers like these to like, just stick out at some point. Oh, you know which ones I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use this. Ha! Yes, I'm gonna use these gypsies, these ones. Oh, I love these. The pampas grass. All along. All along. let's mix this one up a little bit okay uh maybe also put weeds and stuff sure marino let's see what weeds do we have let's see what weeds we have i like this i wonder what that oh you know what <laughs> perfect point to hide crocodiles <laughs> Caesar Diaz, yes, Nomersburg will be getting a zoo. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for... Is it rocks? Hang on. Yes, so we can have a couple of these as well. Just littered, lining the bottom of the water, along the sides. Why is this so big? I want small ones. Really? Why do they seem so big? Ah, yes, this is what I wanted. Is this the wet one? No, that's the dry one. I have the wrong ones. Can put those down. And we can put these are really versatile. These were these were breakwater assets. They were created by by Stricto Star for his which series was it? The I forget the name of the series that he created this for now. Oh, my memory is escaping me. My memory is like no, I'm not going to allow you to remember that. What about reed and water lilies? What do we have? We don't really... Oh, 
Hello. These are props. No, I think this this will be too much. Oh, will it? Be? No, I don't think so. Actually, I'll leave them there. They can be in that corner. <laughs> City Skylines has a lot of flying cars. I think we 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 are all so used to seeing flying cars that they barely phase us anymore. Okay, what bushes do I have? Uh, can we stick? No. No. The colors don't blend nicely. Okay, you might you can work. You definitely work. I love that. I love that. I don't want to overdo that one. I think that's perfect. Mm, let's do this. Let's put some of these chappies down. Uh, let's, let's put some of these down. I, I love the way this has that. You know, these. Check out they like pop out like little weeds. I love it. Yeah, 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 I'm happy with that. Mamasburg is clearly set in Back to the Future Part 2. <laughs> hey, hey, just joined. Haven't had the time for a while. So good to see you do your magic again. Dano 1502, welcome, welcome, welcome. Mr. Miyagi, the, the flying cars are off to Hogwarts. <laughs> they used to irritate me so much. Like, whilst I'm recording, a flying car will just come by and then I'll have to stop, wait for this flying car to pass, then continue until I discovered that I can just kill cars. Yes, I can just kill cars. So I started killing cars. That just sounds so bad. Come on. Alrighty, let's get some houses around here and let's see. Uh, let's see how this that looks like. By the way, again, I've said this many times. These houses by Avania are perfect fit for this. But in the main town, when we get to the town, I am going to try and actually use a couple of different a couple of different assets. But like generally speaking, I just, I love these assets. I think they are such, 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 Avania did an awesome, awesome job on these. Let's give you, will this be enough? Yeah, this should be enough to cover all of them. In Little Town, right? I followed all the roads with the water networks or water pipes. Needless to say, I ran out of nodes and networks very quickly and I had to go and delete them. So I am not making that mistake again. So now my water networks look like crap. If you see what's happening underground. I thought I was going to be like, what's his name? Um, ah... Could I forget his name? Keralis. Keralis always had this thing that he used to say. Keralis like pipe jobs. And I thought it was always so cool. Mm, what am I missing? Flying car smoking weeds. This looks nice, but this neighborhood is probably going to be infested with mosquitoes because of the garden and water. It's the price you pay, right? I mean, if you think about it, there are lots of people who live in areas like this, despite the presence of the mosquitoes, which means that one, either they always have mosquito repellents on in their house, Oh, they've grown fond of those mosquitoes and they just don't even hear those silly buzzing things anymore. Oh, 
most annoying insect on the face of this earth. We are going into our summer now and those pesky little things have started flying around the house again. Urgh. How can you remind me of mosquitoes? I actually don't know what I'm doing down here. Can I just get a better vantage point and just build from here? Uh, your detailing is amazing. Sean Harbour, thank you so much. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. It looks like it should be pronounced as Sean. This makes a lot of sense. City Planner Place also. I'm guessing that was a response to something that I said. I must have missed it. Or I am missing what City Planner also does. I'm sure City Planner will have a effort if he sees my city my city building <laughs> decisions. Mm. Okay, let me just take a Keralis pipe job. Yep, classic in Uendo for sure. Usually they will have fish that eat the larvae of mozzies. Ooh, so before they can actually make it to adulthood, they get chowed down. Are we going to get big mansions in Normersburg? Uh, Achilles Patnik, Patnik. I'm so sorry if I have butchered that. We already got some big mansions in Normersburg. Check out episode 19. There is mansion building in that episode. Big mansions were built. together with some other stuff so you can check that one out you will hopefully enjoy it let's get that there uh, uh, boo, boo, boo. oh the water pipes under the roads okay i get you morton Chris Horsey. Ah, yes, my Saturday evening is made. Sanctum Gamer and his amazing eye for detail and soothing voice. <laughs> oh my gosh. The soothing voice thing is... It's very strange to me. Never in my life has my voice ever been described in that manner. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. Morsi. Really appreciate the kind words. Oh, did I not mix up the houses here? I didn't mix up the houses, people. I only put down 4 by 2s It's not the end of the world. Oh, gotta balance. I've gotta get this right. Uh, oh, snap. Let's get you there. Let's get you slightly away. Cool. I think... That is so cool. I like it. Uh, hello, Aquascaping Luxembourg. All right, mate. You can call me Mr. A. Are you Mr. A? No, wait. That would be very confusing for me because we actually have a Mr. A. So that would be very, very confusing. Mr. Miyagi, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for finding the stream. We really appreciate your presence. Have yourself an awesome, awesome weekend too. So the only reason I don't like to do this is it's purely because it's a prop killer. Uh, the house close to... 
the entrance costs more because they have more land versus the ones across the pond where cheaper plots of land since they are smaller fair logic i think except for that chappy that chappy's got tiny land okay i'm just gonna continue in the same vein this is easy and cheap because this does not count as buildings this actually we this is it's actually very weird this is actually a it registers as a surface but it doesn't contribute to the the building count it contribute uh, sorry it doesn't contribute to the prop count it actually contributes to the building count which is very strange if you ask me oh people you know what we didn't do can i go and do this let me do this quickly here uh i didn't put people park we didn't put people park generators here so that we can get some people actually in and about around here when i get some people here i want to see people standing around my grass uh lawns we put a lot of effort into that Yeah, there we go. I think that's fine. It's so just so that we can get some people there. Uh, we need power. So I want to build. We're going to build stuff here. But for now, let us run one of these. Let us run one of these along. I actually do need to run... I actually need to run power lines along this road just to make it look a bit more realistic. All right, we back here. What was I doing? Oh, I was putting concrete brush. Good morning, Jay Aladell from the Philippines. Welcome, welcome. What is the time that side, Jay? How early is it for you, basically? The unfortunate thing is this is not perfect. I can't use. In case you wonder why I'm not using, I'm not using the surface painter is because surface painter does not paint so well on this road. It actually, it does some other funky stuff. It's like when you paint, when you paint near a normal road and it sort of clips into it. You see it. It, it does this weird disappearing thing which is not very nice ah uh, let's do that in fact let's do this oh i spelled that wrong let's do let's do this i don't know why this would be here but let's just say this is here that's not lined up properly is it Oh, it's lined up, but I want it to be different. There we go. And then let's get back to you. Let's remove that. And let's just cover up the glitch. And let's just put that there. Cool. Sweet. Let's do some garden stuff. Before I do that. Hornbeam. Uh, there you are. I just want to do that. This needs to turn a little bit. Come there. And then let's complete that. Uh, hello, Z Sun Said. Love from Bangladesh. Oh, nice. I would say good evening, but it is 3.48 a.m. here. Wow. I feel super special that at 3 in the morning, you have taken the time to watch my stream. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Jay, it is 5.40 for you. Okay. Also, super early. 
again really appreciate it uh, how much time it took to make almost an entire city Ooh, wow well that is a again a loaded question it it varies so I think Little Town is the best example I can give because that's the only one that I have that I've really seen to completion proper. And I think in total, I spent, I had about 8,000 hours logged on in the game on Steam when it was complete. Now, obviously not all 8,000 hours were spent building, but yeah, that, that should give you an idea. But again, I'm quite finicky. I am, I don't know if I would be considered the average player because I'm very finicky in, in the things that I do. So maybe a lot of people, if you play vanilla, I'm sure you'll probably finish the city in a, in a much shorter space of time. But if you play modded and you are fussy about every little detail, then yeah, be prepared to spend some time. Hope that answers your question. Let's block, put you here. And we're gonna put you there. So you can be slightly different. Uh oh, where am I? I am. Does your real life garden look anything like how you detail the gardens and city skylines? I wish no. <laughs> but but to my credit and to my wife's credit, we are trying to make our garden look a whole lot better. So it's getting it's getting there. It's slow, but it's getting there. The problem with real life is I can't just plop down the tree like that and it's going to survive for the rest of the existence of the city. You plop down and you plant something and you so much like neglect it for one day and you come back and all the leaves are shriveled up. So, yeah, maintaining a real life garden is a lot more, a lot more work. But I do have a vegetable garden, and that's doing quite well. Okay, what am I? Good day from Australia. It is currently 7, 7.50 a.m. in Brisbane. Crispy, again, thank you so much that you will take your morning to spend some time with us. I really, really appreciate it. Crispy. I hope that's I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Crispy. Mm, how long? Oh, big fan from India. Vai Vai Bav. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. How long do you think there is left of the stream? I'm going to sleep after 30 minutes, so I will I like, miss much. You will not miss much. I normally end the streams at at the top of this hour so it is currently 11 55 for me i usually end the stream anytime after 12 o'clock so 12 a.m for me so in five minutes time probably not gonna end it in five minutes this time around because you know we still i want to finish off what i'm doing here and then we'll end it but i'm pretty sure in the next 30 minutes it will be done so I don't think you will miss too much. Do not stress. I want to go back here. I want to get you come all the way along. Oh, no, wait. I missed one. I missed one. Ooh, what happened there? Ooh, quick save. Let me just do a quick save just in case. This is almost one year, 333 days. 
if you're referring to Normersburg, yes, but to be to be fair, I've not I've been switching between Normersburg and and City of Tando, so it's not a a a guys should I say a good compare a good indication. Can I get let's get one of you. In fact, let's put let's put these chappies this chappy all around where there isn't anything major. So let's just say let's just say the where nobody has planted their own thing. This was put down. Here we go. And we've got... Oh, I like the way that looks. I realized something on all houses. No post box. You are right. There is no post box. Because I don't think I have a single... I don't think I have a post box asset. Not a single one. So let's just say I'm the hidden in the bushes somewhere, Chris. <laughs> so sorry, I'm late. Uh, what are you working on? Nicole, we are continuing. I'm not sure if you've seen the last episode of Nomersburg, but we're basically continuing building these circular houses. Circular, circular houses inspired by... Copenhagen. Welcome, Nicole. And I, I always maintain you are not late as long as whatever you are attending is still happening. You are not late. Mm. Yeah, you pronounced it correctly. Thank you very much, Crispy. Uh, 10.55 for you in the morning. Okay, still appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I that's cool. I'm getting late. Oh, it's getting late, so I'm gonna go sleep. Good luck. Thank you, Will the Penguin. Really, really appreciate your presence. Hope to catch you in the next one. Have a good, good, good night. Mm. How's it popping? It's popping. How's it popping with you? Every time you say Chappie, I think of the movie. Oh, yes. Chappie the movie. Okay, let's get this around. Oh, great. Perfect fit. Post goes into the door. Post goes into the door. I like it. I like how we always find nice solutions for all of our problems. Okay, here I am going to make it. I'm gonna make all of these like bushes because we've been killing props. And I've got an awesome unlimited trees mod, so let's just use these. And you know what I want to do with this this side? I'm actually going to make the outskirts of this 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 little community a lot greener. Uh of course I saw it with the middle okay, Chappy, the Romo, yes, that's the one. Love that film. Okay, it's popping pretty well to be honest. That is super cool. Can you finish the garden hedges to the edge of the circle so you can't walk from one garden to the other? Oh, I'm guessing you mean these. I hope these are what you mean. All right, let's, I want to put down. I want to put down, I want to put down a couple of these. So 
so as indicated i don't re i don't detail every single one a lot did you close the road with trees did i close what road with trees i don't know what road you're referring to oh you mean this ah, it happens so what happens when you you draw these areas and then you forget to go and do that all right let me let me give these chaps also some visitors parking and this one this one will be on the outskirts and look at that as soon as i plopped it down train sounds curb planter Yeah, let's put a large one and let's shift you out a little bit and then what am i going to put 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 what am i going to put, am I going to put? let's put you there when okay wait, wait yes it's like okay did you close okay yes is what i mean you started doing that exactly after i read the comments okay there's trees in the road yes okay so that's sorted good evening it was a blast good evening caesar diaz when i use interse intersection marking tool it always used to crash after i made it i made too many intersections not sure if it's just an issue i have i've never had a crash related to intersection marking tool looks fantastic thank you very much Daniel. i think it's not too shabby Ooh. by the way this is actually buggy it's not too shabby actually i actually wish this was more like a a peer type thing we can actually we can you know what let's do this Let's see. Can we ban? What did I click on? I click on the wrong thing. Let's ban. Ban all vehicles. Uh, uh, what? Why is it? Why do I keep clicking the wrong thing? And let's just ban all vehicles. And then let's do Can I do this? Cause this looks like this looks like it's such a nice place. Hmm. No, it's too wide. Okay, it's too wide so we're going to kill a few props here which is fine it's not the end of the world it's not the end of the world and this is showing me that this is not aligned no wrong thing here we go and then let's just turn off parking on you and what can i do here to make it look i want to put let's put hmm. you know it's actually put actually put people people parks here we can actually put people parks here so that it looks i mean it is on the road after all i think this is actually a better option than than making it a a car thing you know i think if it's for pedestrians or for people i think it's much better Let's do this.
to be honest with you, I like to make a simple intersection extremely complex. So it might be <laughs> my own fault. <laughs> when we make that realization. Okay, let's do this. Uh, you missed one lane parking in the traffic circle. Did I? You are right. Thank you. So let's distribute this properly. And then we're going to put a... We're going to put a small one here. And then I'm going to just grab, I'm going to grab one of these ones. Let's take it, slow it a bit. And then, mm, which, 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 which would work too big, way too big. Come on, too big. Ooh, how about you? That's a nice flowery thing. That might work. Let's just grab, let's remove decals. Let's grab you. Let's put the first one here and we can put another one right there. Yay, look at that. We've got something that looks like a pier. And Boom. Boom. Now the question is, ooh, what's that? Oh, that's a node. The question is, what would this look like if I was to try? I don't want to do this. Can I? Do we have a, do we have any drains? Yes, we do. Yay. So I can use this asset here, this prop here. Right? So the idea here now is we have we have this. So that area has been has been tile has been paved nicely. And this is kind of where it ends. There we go. And then this, this then is and then we can just give it a little bit of life like that. You missed one. Okay. The parking forbidden thing. Hi, my fave city bill. Thanks. Thank you for your work and heart you put into your creation so much inspiration may i ask if your real life job is also art design related it is not i am actually in the software space so i'm actually what they call a solutions architect basically i build software for a living but thank you so much for your kind words carolina carolina can you put cobblestones in the middle with the big you i have put this down why do people love barbecue grill so much <laughs> one thing my ocd needs is a put at the same place function and love it so i can center my trees in planters <laughs> i know that feeling i've given up airport 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 to the right there's still cement of the pier put drain on the other side too Oh, yeah, that's actually a good idea. Let's grab. Huh? I found take the decals. And one more this side as well. Oh, I think this one must come in. Can shift it in. Mm. 
already. And I think we are done. I think I am going to call it quits. I wanted to put like street lights and everything around it, but I don't think I'm going to get around to that. And I haven't even finished this one yet. So I think we will leave it at this for this for this for this stream. Next week's video will we'll probably start building in other areas, but then next week I think I'm going to come back and do another stream on here where we actually finish off this entire area. I think that's what I will do. So next week we'll we'll have another Normansburg stream with a building here. We'll see what we can fit into this space. And then we'll put lights all along. But we are almost there in finishing it. So it's just this one left and then one more in this corner. A small one in this corner to call it to call it quits. And then we'll close the space off because I still need to close this area off to just finalize all of it. But everybody, I think that is it. We built two of them. Two really cool ones, actually. I think these are very, very neat. I very very much like the way they look. I think they are they are the best work yet. If you want this city to be friendly for pedestrians and good public transport, I would look into Dutch city planning. I am actually taking a lot of inspiration from Dutch city planning for this actual city that we're going to be building here. So we're going to have quite a bit of like bike lanes and stuff connecting up to the city so i want i want to try and make this city as pedestrian friendly as i possibly can so yes thank you so much i will definitely be doing that can you put bullets at the entrance yes that is good spotting good 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 spotting let's put some bollards let's use yeah this one will work Sun definitely will work. Alrighty. And just to make sure that it's it's actually lively. Let's put some EPGs on here. So we have people at least coming to to chill. Okay, there we go. So hopefully, let me just speed up the simulation a little bit. Let's see if we'll see one or two people come in before we're done. But I think everybody, that is it. This has been an, an amazing stream. Thank you for making my day. Marino Moons, thank you so much for joining me on the stream. And I really, really appreciate it. Dano, super glad. Dano 1502. Everybody. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for your kind donations as well. Your kind words for taking the time out of your day to spend these two hours with me. I really, really appreciate it. And yes, hopefully next week. Well, not hopefully next week. Next week, we will hopefully finish off this area. That's the plan. Okay. Thank you all so much. I don't know why I just shouted there. That was that was not cool. I'm so sorry for your ears. Please forgive me for your ears. But thank you all so much, Crispy. We'll catch you in the next one. Justy Burger, thank you so much. Have a good evening, everybody. Have an awesome one wherever you are in the world. Have a good morning. Have a good evening. I, I, no, it's have a good morning. Have a good evening afternoon and have a very good evening and for those going to bed sleep tight and i will catch you all in the next stream uh murat quickly nothing has happened to tando okay tando will continue we will be building in tando we'll be building in normansburg we'll be building everywhere okay awesome stuff everybody have yourself an awesome awesome rest of the weekend and I'll catch you all next week. Cheers, everybody.